Cricket is probably the most widely recognized and played sport in India. And that's why the match being played over here would be of no surprise to you. But if you take a closer look, you can actually notice that this form of cricket is a little different from the conventional way we play. This is known as blind cricket. But did you ever wonder how the visually impaired manage to bat or bowl in a game of cricket? Well, we are here to tell you all about it. And to do so, we invited 11 players from the Blind Relief Association in Delhi. While most international matches are 40 overs a side, there are some which are also 2020s and 3-day games. Most of the rules associated to the sport remain the same. However, there are some which are modified to ensure a fair game between the cricketers. The World Blind Cricket Council, or otherwise known as WBCC, forms these rules and they are as follows. Firstly, the three types of players, B1, B2 and B3. B1 players are those who are completely blind. B3 players can see more clearly than B2 players, who in turn have a better vision than B1 players. In a team consisting of 11 players, there must be a minimum of 4 B1 players, 3 B2 players and a maximum of 4 B3 players. On the field, B1 players are recognisable by the white band they wear on their wrist or by the one white strip they wear on their right upper arm. Similarly, B2 players wear a red band on their wrist or they have the option of wearing two white strips on their right upper arm. Lastly, the B3 players wear a blue wristband or they can even wear three white strips on their upper arm. The bowler must deliver the ball in an underarm fashion and has to pitch the ball before the white line which is drawn halfway along the pitch to ensure a fair and safe game. If these rules are not followed, they will result in a no ball. In addition, the delivery must bounce at least twice before reaching the batsman. However, it should not be completely rolling. Failure to do so will result in a no ball. Moreover, before delivering the ball, the bowler must ask the batsman if he is ready. If the batsman replies yes, the bowler is all set to bowl. While releasing the ball, it is necessary for the bowler to say play, so that the batsman knows when the ball has been released. If, according to the umpire, play is set before or after releasing the ball, he will call out a no ball. It is also mandatory that B1 players of a team bowl at least 40% of the total overs in a match. The ball plays the most vital role in blind cricket. It is considerably larger than a regular leather ball and is filled with ball bearings which causes the ball to make a rattling sound whenever thrown or rolled along the ground, allowing the visually impaired to track its location and speed through the sound. The length of the pitch remains 22 yards and the surface can be either turf or synthetic grass. The stumps are either metal, wooden or plastic and have to be coloured either fluorescent orange or yellow. The length of the boundary has to be in between 45 and 55 yards and the batsmen are allowed to use a standard cricket bat. While batting, majority of the shots played are sweeps to maximise contact between the bat and ball. Other times, straight and cover drives are also played, but to a lesser extent. B1 players are also allowed to have runners and whatever runs they score are doubled and then credited to the player and team. For example, if they hit a 4, they will be rewarded with 8 runs. Whilst fielding, no players are allowed to dive or lie down till the batsman has played a stroke or the ball has passed the batsman. B1 players are also allowed to wear a helmet and gloves during fielding. The rules of dismissals remain the same. However, the only small difference is that if a B1 player catches a ball, even after a bounce, the batsman will be given out. Over the course of the last few years, there have been a total of 5 Blind Cricket World Cup tournaments. The last one in 2018 was played in India, where the hosts prevailed as champions for the second time, having earlier won in 2014. क्या सलाह देना चाहेंगे और उनकी परफॉर्मेंस के बारे में क्या बोलना चाहेंगे उन्होंने भी बहुत अच्छा किया जैसे विनोद है बहुत अच्छी फील्डिंग आशीष सभी ने अच्छी फील्डिंग करी और आगे भी ऐसे ही करें धन्यवाद आपने एक मेडन ओवर भी डाला और दो विकेट भी लिए आपको कैसा महसूस हो रहा है बहुत अच्छा महसूस हो रहा है 
और आपको ऐसा अनुभव पहले कैसा लग रहा है ऐसा अनुभव बहुत अच्छा लगा यहाँ पे खेल के और हम आगे भी चाहेंगे कि यहाँ पे हमें अगर खेलने का मौका मिले तो हम खेलेंगे धन्यवाद